When we started considering strength, you know, adding strength to the reel, more bite in the drag system, more consistency in the drag system, stronger gear sets. That way you can just power down on it and you don't have to worry about these cheap aluminum gears breaking and going bad and pitting and wearing and tearing. We're kind of taking it back to the good old days to where you, as long as you're turning the handle, the reel's doing the job. It's performing. Like I said, we upgraded the three-piece matrix style system drag washer stack to a 3 plus 1 free floating full carbon. So it obviously gave it more strength when you're set when you're fighting a fish. Well, what we also did was we optimized the critical components in the reel to work together more effectively and efficiently. We got rid of the pairing this density of metal with this density of metal. Basically, when you do that, let's say you have a brass pinion gear working in conjunction with a, a, an aluminum main drive gear, well, it, there's going to be stuff that gets in there and brass is, ends up being stronger than aluminum. Well, when something gets in, into those gear teeth, you know, it, it starts wearing and tearing prematurely in my opinion. Much easier than if it was a brass main drive gear and a brass pinion gear working together. We've seen for decades and decades and decades and generations of reels in the past that are still performing great with these old brass parts. And so we kind of went the extra distance to optimize all the materials being used in, in most of these critical components that run throughout your reels. This kind of leads over into the increased durability aspect of the reels, of which I think we made huge gains on. Some parts that come on fishing reels anymore that, in my opinion, they just don't need to be there. And if you put them there and they don't have a long lifespan, what's the point of putting them there to begin with? And so, like I said, when we decided to look at the increasing durability aspect of, of this chromium, what we kind of got into was we wanted the, to go with the stainless steel spool shaft and worm shaft. By doing that, we increased strength and increased resistance to corrosion and rusting. You know, for instance, with the, with the worm shaft, we went with the stainless worm shaft supported by a palm bushing, which all is encased in the protective worm shaft pipe. The reason why we chose this specific configuration was because one, we wanted the strength and durability of the stainless steel spool shaft. Two, we wanted the support from the bushing, but we didn't want the high potential for rust and corrosion that normally comes with a bearing in that same position. And we capped it all off with basically shoving it in this protective pipe that is made of plastic because what happens when th those protective pipes are made of aluminum, all right, it's just, it creates one more thing that can rust or corrode. You consider those three parts within that parts group working together. By doing this, we eliminated the potential for that bearing slash bushing to start to rust and seize onto the worm shaft itself. But what we also prevent by having that plastic protective pipe is we prevent the outer race of that bearing. In our case, that's why we're using a bushing, but we prevent that outer race from actually having the opportunity to seize itself in its home inside an aluminum pipe. By just making these modifications and using these parts made out of these specific materials, you know, we realize that if we, if we just place parts that are appropriately designed to work in conjunction with each other, we deliver longer lasting lifespan of our reels to our customers. 